you can use Gemini AI without having to log in to your Google account. Let me show you how you can do that. Okay, just for this demonstration, I'm going to open a new incognito window. So there is no Google account whatsoever. And there are two ways you can access or use Gemini. So first, if you're using Google Chrome, you can use this shortcut. You can type add and then Gemini and then hit the tab key on your keyboard. And then you can start asking or entering your prompt to Gemini. Let's say I want to know about the latest AI or maybe the latest news from Apple. Let's try that and then hit enter. Basically, it is becoming the AI version of Google. It is just giving you the answer right away. And yeah, it is the same Gemini that you get if you are using the AI when you log in. So this is one way to access Gemini. Another way is quite straightforward. Just go to gemini.google.com and then you can start using Gemini to answer you any kind of question. Let's try what is the latest AI news? this week question mark and hit enter and gemini will browse some pages on the internet and give you the summary of it so even though you can use gemini without login there are a few things or a few limitations that you need to be aware of okay let me break it down to you so first you cannot select the more advanced model right now i'm using uh, gemini without login so i can only use the 2.5 last version which is not as powerful as the pro version so that's one thing that you cannot do also you cannot upload a document or a picture or any file because again it is only available if you sign in with your google account and also you cannot generate a picture at all you cannot generate you can use you cannot use the image and model to generate picture so let's try generating a picture of a bird and you'll see that Gemini will refuse to generate that picture so you will see this kind of message even though Gemini is able to do that, but the Imagine for model, which is the model for creating a picture, is not available when you're not logged in. And also, your chat history will not be saved. So if you click a new chat, there's going to be this message telling you that, hey, your current chat will be removed, so you cannot see it again, which is going to be not quite convenient if you have some important chat that you want to revisit later. And also some features like personalization and access to workspaces like google docs google drive etc won't be available if you're using the uh, non-login version of gemini so even though it is possible it is still recommended to just use the your google account and then log in and then you access gemini with all of the features even if you're not subscribing to the pro plan even the free version of gemini when you log in you will see more features so that's how you can access Gemini AI without having to log in with your Google account. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.